Oilers and welcome to another very special campus update. Today we have three segments focusing on interesting classes right here at Huntington Beach High School that you may not already know about. But before we get into that, we sent one of our new reporters over to the pool to find out what's going on with the boys water polo team. Here's Adam with the story. Hello Oilers. Right now I'm at the swimming pool and with me are some players from the varsity water polo team. They have won their past two games against Merida Valley High School 22-7 and Santa Margarita 11-8. With me now is assistant coach Chaz Harker. In water polo, is it called a match or a game? It could be called either or. Technically, it could be called a match or a game. What position do you play and what do you do? I'm an attacker. Uh, I score goals for the team. What is your favorite part about water polo? Definitely the team and uh, winning. What do you guys usually do during practice? During practice, we uh, usually on Mondays we'll condition for the rest of the week and then we'll work on fundamentals and scrimmage throughout the rest of the week. The next upcoming match at home will be against Olu October 15th. Uh, come out and support some of our games. They're fun to watch. Thanks, Adam. Thanks for not getting our cameras wet. So as promised, cool classes you may not know about. So let's get started with another one of our new reporters, Christopher, who we launched like a rocket over to the J building to investigate Mr. Crossett's ROP engineering class. Are you interested in engineering? If so, you might want to join the engineering innovations or engineering design class. Today, I'll be talking about engineering design with Mr. Crossett and some of his students. In this engineering design course, uh, students learn the fundamentals of engineering. Uh, we start off with learning about computer-aided design software. Uh, we use SketchUp and SolidWorks for that. And we do a little bit of programming with Arduino boards and Raspberry Pis. And then at the end of the semester, students kind of tie it all together um, in this thing, called, we, thing we call a minor problem. Um, so students can kind of choose to do robotics or rockets, something where they can infuse 3D printing with electronics. I would recommend this class to any student who wants to pursue engineering or building of any kind, uh, maybe in the future, not necessarily engineering per se, but designing it also. Uh, is really good for anyone who wants to pursue that career. Well, that's all I have for now. Thank you, and be sure to join the engineering design class if that sounds interesting. Thanks, Christopher. Veteran reporter Dylan stopped by the I building last week to talk to the one and only Mr. Harward about a special class he's doing this year, the magical art of animation. Hey, Oilers. Today we're taking a look at animation class. It is an immersive class where students learn how to draw different objects to apply to animation. Animation class has been available for this year. Why did I decide to offer animation class? Because it's awesome and it's fun and you learn a lot of different things and you get to make things move, you get to make, make things come alive, um, meaning your characters or creatures and you can get to be creative in a different way other than art or ceramics or photo. So it's, it's, a, it's a moving art form. What do I plan to teach in animation? Drawing, painting, animating mostly, but you got to have a foundation in drawing. You got to be able to draw. I teach you how to draw and then you be by doing that then you can animate better. What we will be doing also, we draw characters, character designs, creature designs, mech, and we do landscape stuff like buildings and environments. Um, we do animation, we do storyboarding, we do uh, analog, so traditional art, and we also do digital art. Are all the people in animation amazing? Yes, they are. Every single student in animation is amazing. So if you take animation, you will be amazing. So all amazing people come take animation. Animation class takes place in room I-4. Thanks, Dylan. Any class with Mr. Howard is guaranteed to be a great time. And the last class we're going to take a look at today happens to be on our very own stomping grounds of B2. If you ever wanted to learn the mysterious ways of the recording arts, well, Mr. Simmons can teach you all the studio tricks in Music Tech ROP. So we sent our new reporter, Igor, to find out all about it. This is an ROP music tech class at Huntington Beach High School. Here you can learn about music production, studio recording, and many more. So I teach music tech, which is an ROP class that anybody can take. We focus on audio recording and basically recording music and what all that entails, microphones, how studios work, mixing consoles, and not just recording, but we do talk about other stuff like how to set up a, a band. The whole point of an ROP class in the first place is to teach people skills that are translatable to careers. Like you can take the class, learn skills, and go out into the workforce and work. With music, a lot of people think that it's just like, oh, I want to be a rock star or I want to be a singer. But really, the, 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 the money in that business is working behind the scenes. So even if you aren't a singer or can't play, you can still work 
you know, backstage or work on the work on the sound console or hooking up microphones and wires and all the design that goes into that process. So there really is money in rock and roll after all, huh? Interesting. Hey Oilers, looking for a job? Well, we've got you covered. Today we'll show you three jobs that are all hiring local, just like this Starbucks over on Beach in Atlanta. Right now, they're hiring for a barista position, so if you've got a coffee addiction, might as well make it a free one. Moving on, just up the street, Albertsons over on Beach and Adams is also hiring for most positions. You can end up being anything from a cleanup crew to a bagger to even working in that local supermarket Starbucks. Now, coming a little closer to school, over on Golden West, Ralph's Supermarket is also hiring for all positions. So, if you are looking to become a little bit more financially stable, this is your time to shine. Now, if you're looking to apply to any of these jobs, you'll need to go to their company websites. Scroll down all the way to the bottom and click on careers. From there, you'll be able to apply and hopefully get follow-up interviews. All right, good luck, Oilers! Well, we should have one more segment, but we don't seem to have any. Wait a minute. My segment's missing. Hold on a second. I can throw. I can throw together a hall talk. It'll be fine. Hey, you. Come here. Hall talk. So, what three words best describe you? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, Those are three. No, 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 no. I'm. I'll be honest. I'm self-conscious. I. I. Self-conscious. Shut up. What three words best describe you? Sarcastic, hale, and punky. Um, punky I guess. <laughs> Tall, athletic, and amazing. Humble, if that for the fourth? No, it's called confidence. If your personality was a fragrance, like a perfume or a cologne, what would you title it? If I were any cologne, I'd be Blue de Chanel, because you know. If your personality was a fragrance, what would you title it? Sweet and salty. Fart. Oh, don't you say that. If your personality was a fragrance, what would you title it? Go away. Sheer disgust. Smoke. <laughs> For some kind, reason, what people, kind of smoke? Like campfire smoke. People tell me I have like a, a smoke smell to me all the time. I don't get it. If you had a talk show, who would your first three guests be? You. You. Dope. And you. Dude. If you had a talk show, who would your first three guests be? I don't know. I don't like that question. <laughs> If you had a talk show, who would your first three guests be? Stan Ridgeway, Exine Cervenka, and um, Carrot Top. Ooh, Roger Clemens, Kurt Schilling, and then Mike Piazza at the same time with Roger Clemens. Oh man, that's easy. That's Michelle Obama, for sure. Jimmy Fallon. I think he'd take over, even though no one wants him to. He still would. Kanye West. That would be an event. If you had a talk show, who would your first three guests be? James Charles, Abraham Lincoln, and and this guy right here. I was gonna say Joe. Joe who? Joe Baba. Oh! Oh! Really? Oh! Really? That's the best you can do? <laughs> this is pathetic. I think we need to end this episode right now. Okay. I think we're done here. That Thank you for coming. We'll see you next week.